Hey, I'm Michael. Welcome back to another video. I hope you are doing well. What a stunning day in Melbourne today. Sun is out and we have a little bit more than 20 degrees. That's what uh, spring should look like. And yeah, today I want to talk a little bit about Microsoft. Microsoft uh, released their quarterly results yesterday and they were really, really good. I don't really will go into detail about what the results were, but I want to talk a little bit about uh, Microsoft in general and what my investment case for Microsoft is. But first, as always, when we talk about individual stocks, uh, the quick disclaimer, I do hold a position in Microsoft and I will continue to hold that position. Um, so please do your own research before investing into Microsoft or any other companies for that matter. Um, yeah, before you make any investment decisions and do not take the things that I say for uh, as financial advice. So let's get right into it. Yeah, starting a little bit about what Microsoft does and what it has been doing over the last years. So Microsoft was coming from uh, the, the background, basically their core product was the operating system and the associated uh, programs that they had the office suit. So basically with all new computers, with the large majority of computers, uh, the operating system was Windows and Microsoft uh, owns uh, that operating system. And uh, on top of that, the programs that you need for writing or calculating, obviously all everyone knows them. Um, they are part of the office suit like Word and Excel. Um, and that was the main and core product in the past. Uh, Microsoft has tried to um, establish uh, a business side where they're also selling and producing hardware, uh, but that was that never really took off. They they always tried with different in different markets with different products, um, and in the past that was never really the right thing. They did also took over Nokia at some point with a try to establish a powerful mobile phone brand within Microsoft. However, that never really worked out. So looking at the current time and what Microsoft did over the last couple of years, they have further established their product range and they um, are now offering a great product with Microsoft Azure in the cloud environment. This is a great addition to what they have at the moment. So they're still offering their core operating system. They are still offering Microsoft um, Office, now also in a slightly different format with Office 365, which is a subscription model instead of a just purchasing license model. So you have ongoing revenue. Um, but yeah, the, the main feature is uh, Microsoft Azure. Um, and that is obviously very, very new. Um, so what does Microsoft Azure do and why is such a such a great product? Uh, the Microsoft Azure provides cloud services for other companies. So normal companies would come and uh, purchase these cloud environments instead of buying a physical server or physical IT infrastructure plus the operating system. So Microsoft is in position to actually sell both the software and the hardware. And they're basically taking revenue from typical hardware suppliers like Dell or HP, and they sell that directly to the customers. Not as hardware, of course, but as the service, as a cloud service Azure. So companies don't have to buy both and have to buy both things from two vendors, but they spend their IT budget to Microsoft directly. And of course, Microsoft has to purchase that hardware somehow, but they're obviously in a position to leverage um, in it much better than small companies would be able to do. Um, so that is one of the greatest benefits of, of that platform. And uh, the cloud platform Azure is actually growing quite heavily. Um, it's over 48% um, uh, in, uh, in one year compared to the, quad the same quarter last year. So um, almost 50% uh, up in uh, in sales from Microsoft Azure. And um, yes, it potentially will go down a little bit, the growth, but overall it's still a growing market and companies are still in need for those uh, investments uh, into cloud platforms. 
Um, also, again, it's an ongoing revenue that they uh, create with Azure Platform. In the past, companies were potentially hesitating in making large investments into IT infrastructure. You had to replace your IT infrastructure every four to five years. And now it's a cost that you actually can manage very well with an ongoing cost to Microsoft. And so actually companies uh, might have a benefit of managing the costs also much better than they were uh, able to do in the past. So yeah, that's the main and core advantages that Microsoft has developed over the last couple of years. On top of that, they are still increasing their revenues through um, the Xbox and the overall gaming, the exposure to the gaming industry, which is great to see. And they are, on top of that, they are also um, establishing their hardware brands with uh, Microsoft Surface, which is uh, very known for, for its, its flexibility and it being a small device that just works very well with the operating system. And I think we are in the fifth or sixth generation of that device. And uh, it has created a bit of a community around that, that are really people that are really love the Microsoft hardware as well. So it's great to see that they finally were able to establish a hardware side of the business as well. And yeah, I made note of a couple of other things uh, too. Um, one thing to note uh, that uh, was driving the share price over the last couple of weeks um, was a potential takeover from TikTok, uh, which uh, did not work out. Uh, the current uh, situation is that um, that Oracle might be uh, taking over uh, that part, the US part of TikTok. It's still not confirmed, but it's likely that this will be the case. Um, and this dri uh, was driving the share price up to a, to a high a couple of weeks ago um, that was uh, at around 230 US dollars. Now we are down to 230 US dollars per share. Um, and uh, that's still very, very positive. And it still accounts for, I, I think we are uh, at 60% uh, from the down in March and up uh, over 30%, I think 33% from uh, the start of the year. So still very great to see. And let's talk a little bit about the financial situation from Microsoft. They're currently sitting on a lot of cash. And that's one of the reasons why they started to uh, show an interest in uh, TikTok. Um, because they want to make that money work. And this, this could have been a great opportunity to do that. But I believe there will be future opportunities for Microsoft to buy other interesting companies as well. However, in the meantime, they are still purchasing back shares from themselves, so uh, to, uh, which will further push the share price as well. And they are also increasing the dividend year on year. So if you buy into Microsoft, you have those two advantages working for you uh, to make sure that the share price will go up as well and that you will get your fair share of uh, return on your investment. Um, yeah, I hope this little overview of Microsoft was interesting to you. Please leave uh, your comments what you think uh, about Microsoft. And yeah, I'm looking forward to see you in my next video. Until then, bye.